It's like three different disciplines mm -hmm. that are interacting. I mean, visual, movement, text. So, and hopefully disruption. So, like, yeah. like you were talking about it recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think uh, yeah. There's a, a specificity in in our modes of working and, and finding ways to uh, overlap overlap them and have them uh, sort of disrupt each other in a mm -hmm. really interesting way and finding out how they can do that, how it's possible that we can sort of cross a, our sort of own lines of creating and making. And every artist sort of struggles with that idea of whether or not what they're doing is significant enough or uh, communicates with somebody. That's sort of what the piece is about. Yeah, and your text seems to talk about the isolation of the artist, her experience, but I mean, I think that's kind of interesting that we are you know, you, you both of you, I guess, collab to work with other people more. Mm -hmm. But I mean, in a sense, you also, you know, you have your isolated practice, and I think these kind of things uh, overlapping is, um, you know, the opposite of this experience of the, you know, the individual coming together and creating something that's hopefully very unexpected. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I don't think we have a title yet for this thing, but. I know the title of your text is For You When I'm There, and I think that's kind of interesting in the context of collaboration with all the people who are actually not there, mm -hmm. um, that are there that populate our, our, you know, our practices. Um, dead artists, past collaborators, um, you know, and our past selves. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, yeah, we spoke about a lot about that yesterday, about a uh, not only collaborating with other individuals, these external forces outside of us, but also us uh, sort of collaborating um, cyclically with our own histories and our own um, physical and spiritual uh, ideas of self and other, and uh, how that, I don't know, will somehow revolve around this, and, and I don't know, maybe tie us closer into each other, but, uh, and also with the idea of projections that those other selves are also still in existence, that they haven't sort of disappeared, and, uh, Evaporated into some, I don't know, some either. And place, I think place is such a big conversation for me, especially in this collaboration, because I, I think sort of the ways that we fit into something, it sort of expounds itself. Like I fit into my body, I fit into this room, I fit into, I'm going to fit into the uh, thing that we create in this performance. So it's, it's, it's this uh, repetitive need to uh, exist in a place. And, and, and I think a lot about how we just sort of travel throughout the world and we are always in a new space, in a new time, but it, it's not completely new, it's not completely unfamiliar, but it's sort of a different place that we're then placed in in that moment. And what that does to me uh, psychologically and physiologically and all of those things that, I don't know, I think it's complicated and I, and I want to figure that out, but I think it's happening and that's sort of what we're also making. So. Yeah, and it's, I guess, I mean, not, a plug, not as a plug for anything that you know, sort of bomb does, right? It's like it's these different voices talking to one another. Yeah. And um, they've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> it's probably, this piece has been made before, not with the three of us, but yeah. three other people. Yeah. No, that's, yeah, that's really, yeah, interesting to think that it's been made before, that it's kind of happened already. Like, I find myself saying that a lot, like, oh, this, this, is, this sensation, this thing that's happened isn't new, it's happened before. I think for me the most interesting part is that we're having this interaction and uh, beyond the event that takes place, we're going to take a little bit of this into mm -hmm. our future selves you know, or future collaborations or uh, and I think that's, that's the part that's super exciting. There's also this this absolute unknowing that is yeah. happening right there that we're, <laughs> that we're trying to shuffle through and like I don't know make something familiar, make something that we can like sort of understand of each other while like I don't know maybe opening up a new envelope. Yeah, a new self. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.